everyone, my name is Megan and this is Painted in Distress. Today I am participating in the Let's Go Camping DIY Decor Challenge hosted by Megan from the Crafty Quinn and Adrian from the Full Time DIY Mommy. I decided to do a nautical beach camping theme. And so the first project we're going to work on is a bonfire. So I took this hamburger patty press that I got from Dollar Tree and I um, just used the bottom part and I just painted it black using my Waverly chalk paint in ink, which is basically their black paint. And I just gave it uh, one, maybe like one and a half coats and just covered the entire thing. And then now I added a tea light um, that's actually flickering and so it kind of mimics the look of a fire. And then I just added some wood um, tumbling tower pieces from Dollar Tree as well. Um, I ended up removing some of them. And then I just took, cause I, I think I, yeah, there's just too many in there. <laughs> and then I just took some actual real marshmallows and some skewer sticks that are also from Dollar Tree, painted the marshmallows a little to give them a charred look, added some glass rocks, and that was it. And the second one project, we are going to be making some oars. <laughs> so I got these um, bamboo turners from Dollar Tree and I'm staining them using um, Verithane stain in Kona. And I'm just giving them one coat all around front and back. And I remembered to use a glove this time. I don't know why I always forget to use a glove but yay for me. <laughs> and then now that the stain is dry, I'm just taking a stencil brush um, and I'm just dry brushing on um, using my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. And I just, everything that I made today, I wanted it to look like, I, that, like it had, Wow, sorry, words are hard. I wanted it to look like it had an old rustic feel. Um, of course, that's always my style, but um, also, you know, that it had been out in the sea, salty air for a long time. Um, and so basically I created a beach camp. And um, so this is, I guess, rowing lessons <laughs> and we're making, um, some oars to go with our rowing. <laughs> so I'm just giving them a good coat and then I end up taking my sandpaper from Dollar Tree and then I just sand them down really good to give them that weathered look. Um, that way again, so that way they look like they've been out in the sun and the sea air and, um, and they've been around for a very long time. So now I'm just taking some cotton nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I'm wrapping it around basically to give it a more nautical look um, and to make it look less like bamboo turners um, and also to hide the, the hole um, at the top and then I also added a little at the bottom just using some hot glue and then I, um, it's a little off camera, sorry about that, and then I hot glued them together. So I also got this um, wood plank from Dollar Tree. I could not believe it that I saw these planks there. Um, but I did stain them with um, early American. And then once it was dry, now I'm just dry brushing again to give it that um, salty air look. And um, I'm still using ivor ivory Waverly chalk paint. And I'm just giving it, I end up going a little bit heavier on it so I can sand it down. Um, and I also took a mallet and kind of beat the board a little bit too to make it look a little older and weathered and all that good stuff. And these boards are a little rough um, as they just purchased how I purchased them. <laughs> wow, words are really tough today. Uh, sorry about that. So um, as you see, I am just now hot gluing them together and then now we have this cute nautical sign.
And just a reminder to make sure to check out the playlist that will be linked down below of all of the creators in this challenge, as well as the hosts of the playlist. So you can't go camping, especially camping anywhere or on the beach without a tent. So we're gonna make a tent. <laughs> so I'm taking these skewer sticks and this, um, this is all from Dollar Tree. The majority of everything that I'm making today is from Dollar Tree. And um, I'm just hot gluing them together, basically making kind of like a teepee type tent. And let me tell you, this is held up with my four-year-old playing with it as well um, and it has not fallen apart which is you know the skewer sticks are kind of sometimes a little thin and um, yeah it's held together quite nicely um, so then I'm just adding a, a piece of the skewer stick on the top as well for extra support and then I found this plain white fabric um, fat quarter from Dollar Tree as well, and I'm just cutting it to, down to size um, for our tent. And then I also took some twine, just for a little added support um, on the top parts of the tent. So now I'm taking this uh, ribbon that I got from Walmart, or I guess it's more like a trim ribbon, whatever, you can use the same. And I'm just um, cutting strips of it and just hot gluing it to the bottom. And then now I'm making little ties for our tent and I'm just using this uh, gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree. Um, so that way I can tie it to the openings or the front of the tent. And then I'm just gonna tie them around the skewer strips um, just for a little added decorative touch. And then it, this project is all done. And I just think this is so cute. I added some, you know, some embellishments. So this next project, we can't go have a, a surf camp without a surfboard, or a, I'm sorry, a beach camp without a surfboard. Uh, so we're gonna make a little surfboard sign. So I'm taking this laundry room sign that's supposed to be in the shape, and this is from Dollar Tree, it's supposed to be in the shape of a um, ironing board, but it always kind of looked like a surfboard to me as well. Um, so I'm trying to take off the paper as much as possible, but let me tell y'all, this paper was on there. I usually can, I usually have pretty good luck, but not with this one. So I just, um, I covered the back side of it with um, some craft paper and I turned it around. And I just painted it with Waverly chalk paint in the color Fawn. And I also covered the holes. And then now I'm taking um, some painter's tape and um, I'm just using some apple barrel paint. Um, it's a light blue color. I think it's called Summer Sky. And I'm just painting some lines or some stripes down the entire thing. I had to give it a couple coats. Um, and then now I'm taking the Waverly chalk paint in ivory and I'm dry brushing it all over again to give it that rustic look. And then now I'm sanding it down just to um, kind of make the lines less harsh and softer. And then I added a decal that says Surf Camp from my Cricut. And that project is done. Now we're going to make some nautical poles, or they're called pier posts. Let me tell you, I had a hard time figuring out what in the world these things were called, but I always see them in nautical decor, and so I wanted to try to make my own. So I'm taking these rolls. Um, I, you can use you know, paper towel rolls or anything like that, but uh, these are actually from my Cricut vinyl rolls. 
um, and I just took had a few of them and I painted them using that Waverly chalk paint and fawn again and then I dry brushed them using apple barrel paint in burnt umber and then now I'm just hot gluing them together and I also had this little nautical picture frame from Dollar Tree that I just dry brushed um, using the color ocean from Waverly chalk paint and then dry brushed it with uh, ivory also and then I'm taking some more of that cotton nautical rope and I'm just wrapping it around the bottom and then I do wrap it around the top as well to give it a little more decorative touch. And the picture frame came with a little wood circle and so I just wrote with a marker Pier 29 and then that project was done. So we can't go camping again at the beach without sailing so we're gonna make a sailboat <laughs> so I took this sailboat that I got from Dollar Tree in the kids section and I'm giving it a coat of Waverly chalk paint in the color fawn I wanted it to look like an old wooden boat and so that's what we're gonna do and then the bottom part I am using a watered-down Waverly chalk paint in the color ocean. It's it's watered, but then it's also I added white to lighten to uh, lighten the color a little bit. And then now I'm just dry brushing some burnt umber from Apple Barrel to give it that wood look. And to make it look like it's been sitting out in the sun and the sea salty air, I also dry brushed it using Waverly Chalk Paint Ivory again so it um, can give it that nice distressed look. Even though these are all, you know, small and home decor, I still wanted them to look as realistic as possible, I guess. <laughs> and I'm also doing that to the sail as well. And I painted that with the same blue. And then to cover the sails, I am taking these treat bags that I found from Dollar Tree. Oh gosh, I absolutely love these. And then I'm just taking my Cricut um, fabric marker and then I'm just tracing the sails and then I'm just gonna cut them out. And I tried using Mod Podge and it was not working. So I had to end up going in with some tacky glue. Um, I didn't have fabric tack or fabric glue or anything and so but this, the tacky, the Eileen's tacky glue worked awesome. And that could also be found at Dollar Tree. A big bottle of it too. Um, and so I just cut these out. And I did fray the ends a little bit to make them again look rustic. I wanted everything at my beach camp <laughs> to look rustic and old. And so that's what I did. And here it is. I would love to know what you guys think of all the projects that we made today. Everything you see in the pictures are from Dollar Tree except for the bench, but everything else was from Dollar Tree. I would love to know your thoughts. And thank you so much to Megan and Adrian for hosting this playlist. And the playlist will be linked below as well as Adrian and Megan's channels. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.